Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of the Trailmakers How-To Series. This is a series that's going to cover some creations on how to build things in Trailmakers, explaining some of the parts and some of the different uses, and the way that I build things in Trailmakers. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at how to build a missile. So this is just going to be a simple missile. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of different ways to build uh, different missiles using all kinds of logic. But this is just going to be a simple way. If you've never tried building a uh, detachable or a rocket, a projectile, hopefully this will help you out with how to do it. So the first thing that we're looking at here is we want to build a base. We want to place a servo on there. And we want to place a couple of hinges. Always remembering to set our speed down to 0.1. On our servo, we want to set full rotation and hold position. Same thing with our hinges. We want to set hold position and speed to 0 0.1. Next, we want to add a couple of detachable blocks. These again, we want to make sure that we select them and remove any controls that are on them so we don't accidentally detach them. And as we can see here, maybe building your base on a vehicle is not necessarily a good idea as the controls will interfere with trying to tilt and rotate your missiles. So we'll remove the stand. We'll just put an anchor underneath here. So now we can actually rotate it back and forth and we can spin it around. But of course this anchor loves to give us some wobble. So we'll just go with weights instead like I've done here. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna decide on what kind of rocket that you're gonna use to propel this, this missile or this projectile. I've decided to go with the large rocket. Gives you the quickest takeoff time. Now we'll want to place this keeping in mind the balance and the uh, where the weight is on your projectile or on your rocket. You want to try and keep it evenly balanced as you're adding components and try and keep it down to a minimum weight as well. So we'll use a couple of shield pieces here to extend our thruster outwards so we can add in our XOR gate. Now this is the block that's going to allow us to control it after we've detached. What we'll do is we'll select our XOR gate, go to configure, and we want to make sure to select our jet and both of our detachable blocks as well so that when we hit the button that we determined for it, I'm going to set it here as number one, alpha one, so that getting in, tilting it back, press alpha one, the detachable blocks detach as well as the thruster engages and continues to engage after it's detached from your creation. So now we want to throw on a couple of fins and it's basically boiling down to, at this point, trying to tweak it to get the trajectory that you're looking for. So either by small fins, moving them to the forward or moving to the back, so we'll add another small block in here and we'll throw a cannon on the front because we want this to be an exploding missile. So when it gets close to its target, just about to hit the, the target, it'll end up exploding, shooting the gun, which will create an explosion and the missile itself will blow up as well. So as you can see here, we've got quite a bit of weight on the back. When it launches, it wants to pull it, the nose goes up. try against the wall here to see how our trajectory is. It's not too bad. It just bounces off the wall. So we're going to need to throw a sensor on there to trigger that cannon when it gets close to a, to a, a target. So we'll put a sensor on near the front here. And we can just connect that to the configure that to the cannon. And we'll set our distance to about 2 
two meters, so just in front of the cannon itself. So it should fire before it hits something. As you can see, the cannon itself is still controlled by the space bar firing, so we'll want to make sure that we select that and remove any controls that are on there, just so that we're not firing it when we don't want to be firing it. So, we should be able to fire, and as you can see, there's a lot more weight pulling the nose way up. So we'll need to do a little more tweaking to try and get the balance that we're looking for. So as you can see, we've swapped out the side shields for some smaller pieces. We'll move our sensor a little further forward. And we'll just use a couple of small angled pieces to hold that sensor in place over the top. I'll eventually end up moving that sensor to the bottom underneath the cannon. Therefore, it's more uh, consistent in its blowing of stuff up. I've also added a couple of small wings onto the side to give it a nice even trajectory and a nice stable flight. As you can see, it just exploded against the wall and our sensors at the bottom. We've got a couple of vertical fins as well. And that's a simple basic method on making a missile. As long as you've got your XOR gate connected to your thruster and your sensor connected to your cannon, you can make it as big or as small as you like as long as you keep it balanced. I want to thank everyone for watching. There will be more to come in this series. Hit subscribe if you want to see more creations like this or more build videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day, guys.